All right, we have uh, 7.5 practice. This is all about the scale drawings. And so we are on page 164 in our RPJ. So of the first four problems here, uh, it says to find the missing dimension, it's underlined, using a scale factor of one to eight. So uh, just as a reminder from the lesson, um, the first number is gonna be the model, okay? And the second number is going to be actual, okay? And because it's a scale factor, we can use any unit that is the same. So we could have one inch on the model is one is eight inches actually, okay? Or uh, one um, foot on the model is um, eight feet on the actual thing. All right, so here we have this first problem we have 168 inches and we want to know the actual height. So uh, I'm going to set myself up a uh, ratio. Okay, one to eight, all right, is going to be the model dimension over the actual dimension, actual dimension. So this is what we're going to use for every one of these problems. All right, so we have one over eight is now, this ratio is equal to uh, the model, so that's going to be 168 over, we don't know what this height of the statue is, uh, so we're going to just call that H right there. So, a couple of different ways we can do this. We can go 1 times 168. Oh, and this is inches. Oh, now we need to do it in feet. That's a good thing I saw that. So, the value we get for H here is going to be in inches, but we need to convert it into feet. Okay, so times 168. Let's take a look at that. So 100, 1 times 168 is 168 clearly, and 8 times 168 times 168 is going to equal um, <clears throat> h in this case is 1344 inches, okay, because we started in inches. Uh, we need to make inches into feet. So I know that there's 12 inches per one foot. So I can divide that number by 12, um, dividing, uh, so 100, no, 1,344 divided by 12 is gonna give me uh, 112 feet, okay? 112 feet, all right? I, first thing I did, I used my scale factor to set up a ratio and then I set my ratio equal to the model uh, over the actual height, okay? And so, and I would just make sure that we need to find out if it's the same there. Okay, so a painting, its width is something centimeters and its width, uh, and the actual width is 200 meters. Well, that's 200 meters, that's a, that's a pretty big painting. 200 meters, that's crazy big. Okay, doesn't matter. So we have one over eight is equal to the width because this is the model, the model in centimeters, okay, over the actual, which is 200 meters. Okay, so when we find our value for W, it will be in meters. And then we need to convert the meters into centimeters. Okay. So so um, let's see, we can do cross products are equal. I wish they would have given us more space here. We could do cross products are equal. So that means we have eight W is equal to 200. So we're gonna divide both sides by eight. Okay, so 200 divided by eight is equal to 25. Uh, bu 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 meters, right? 25 meters. And so doing that, 25 meters, converting that into um, <laughs> 25 meters, converting that into Centimeters means that we have to multiply it times 100, okay? And so then we're gonna get ourselves 2,500. 25 
hundred centimeters. Okay. All right. Then alligator. Hey, here's a joke for you. What do you call uh, an alligator that turned into a detective? An investigator. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Put comments down if you want or not. All right. So here we go again. We're going to do one eight. The is equal to the model height, which is uh, h uh, over six point four feet. Okay, so uh, we need to convert it into inches after we find out what it is in feet. Okay, so uh, one eight. Let's see. Um, we can do this via the um, um, okay. cross products, and so we have. 8 h is equal to 6.4 divide both sides by 8 that means we're going to get h is equal to uh, 0 0.8 feet okay it's 0 0.8 feet but we need to convert 0 0.8 feet into inches so we're going to multiply that times 12 and that gives us uh, 9.6 inches so we have 0 0.8 feet times uh, 12 inches for every one foot. And that's going to give us 9.6 inches because these feet, they cancel out. All right, we have a train. The model is 36 inches long, and we want to know the actual length of the train, but in feet. Okay, so... Uh, we need to find out the length in inches first and then convert that into feet. So 1 over 8 is the scale factor. The model is 36.5 inches. Okay, and we want to know um, what the length is. Okay, so we'll just put the letter L there. Well, 1 times 36 is 36. 8 times 36 point five is going to give us uh, a length of 292 inches okay 292 inches I know that there is 12 inches per foot so I have to divide by 12 inches um, so I'm going to divide this by 12 inches Per foot the inches cancel out and I end up with 24 and one-third 24 and one-third feet okay 24 and one-third feet all right moving right along the diameter of the moon is 21 60 miles a model has a scale of one inch is equal to 150 miles. What is the diameter of the model? Oh, okay. So that's pretty easy. So we're going to take this and we're going to make our ratio of one inch to 150 miles. And that ratio is the same ratio as some uh, diameter uh, of the model in inches divided by 2160 miles. I want to point something out here that I'm comparing uh, similar ratios, inches over miles, inches over miles, okay? This is the scale right here. And so I'm using my scale and forcing it to be equal to the ratio of the actual uh, model here and the, um, the, rather the model and the actual thing. So I can do this uh, one of two ways. Let's do it that direction. So now we have 2160 is equal to 150 uh, times D. So we divide both sides by 150, and we get 2160 divided by 150 is going to equal 14.4 inches. Okay, this is in inches. Why? Because it's in the uh, numerator. That's in inches. Okay, this is in miles, denominator miles in the denominator, okay? It ends up being 14.4 inches. A map has a scale of one inch 
is four miles. So we can have one inch and have four miles like that. You measure three inches between your house and the movie theater. Oh, on the map. How many miles is it from your house to the movie theater? Oh, okay. So again, we're going to take our ratio, uh, ratio scale. We have one inch is to four miles. And we make that equal to, we want to know how many miles it is. So we don't know this one right here. That, we don't know the miles. But we measure three inches on top. Okay. Well, clearly that's going to be times three. And this one is also going to be times three mm -hmm, to force the ratio to be equal. One fourth is the same as three over 12. And so now D is equal to four uh, times three, which is going to equal 12 miles. Just like that. Okay. And part number six, it is 17 miles to the mall. How many inches is that on the map? So once again, we have one inch over four miles, and we know that it's 17 miles to the mall. We want to know what the distance is. Uh, uh, at, we want to know how many inches that is on the map. Okay. So this is, of course, the uh, map, and this is going to be an actual right there. All right. So it looks like we can do this by um, cross products. So then we're going to get 17 times 1. That's just 17. Make that equal to 4 times D. Divide both sides by 4, and we are going to get D is equal to 4 and 1 fourth miles. No, inches. I'm sorry. It's going to be inches. That's, we got to make sure that this is right. 4 and 1 fourth inches on the map. Okay.